Hey everyone, I'm back, and we're going to talk about Pacific Rim The Black Episode 2. Now, before we start, I, heads up, this is probably the most boring episode. Uh, it's the only it's the only episode that doesn't have a necessarily a kaiju fight scene. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the only real qualm with this episode that uh, makes it really boring at all. So let's just get started. It's mostly exposition and further exploration of the chemistry between Haley and Taylor. There. There there's the review. I'm I'm done. Okay, actually I'm going to go over the episode. The episode starts with a drift scene of the of a flashback with some new dialogue, talking about how Haley killed the village and their parents are dead. Then Loa and Taylor have this fun scene between them and have a conversation of appreciation. Then Loa explains what they need, which is called a power cell. They have this kind of bitter moment where Taylor faults the citizens, the civilians, for dying from the destru- destruction of the kaiju, pretty reasonably. Haley tells them tells him that it's pretty inhumane. You'll see how this plays into her character later. Then we see these weird dog kaiju things attack. Apparently, these are called reapers. I think. Don't quote me on that. And I gotta say, I love these. These are actual alien-looking kaiju are so weird and unique, and I love them. But they get chased by the dog kaiju, then they are swept into the water with a brief cameo by a kaiju jaeger. Then we get another flashback of young Taylor at a ra- at ranger training, and we get this heartfelt moment between Haley and Taylor. And then Taylor wakes up, and they find the building where the power cells are. Then they get to the room, and they find a child stuck in a tube. They argue whether they're going to take him take him with them, and they end up break, breaking him out and running away from the dog kaiju, with their lives as the kaiju jaeger saves them by killing the dog kaiju. But the power cell that they received is broken, so basically it makes this episode kind of pointless besides getting the kid. Not exactly pointless, but there's not much new story that is very intriguing. Then they have another nice scene where Taylor, and Taylor talks about how he needed Haley at that day, and Haley says how he helped her for five years. Another somewhat emotional scene. Overall, this episode is solid, but nothing special, and the pacing is a lot worse than the first episode. Again, this mainly this this episode mainly explains just kind of where they're going without without much interesting things, since Atlas is kind of out of out of its element. So, yeah. This episode mainly serves as a way to get more exposure to these two, along with an introduction to a new character. I'd give this episode a 4.0 out of 5. Or 4. Point out of 4.5 out of 10. Yeah, that that's what I meant. Alright, um, subscribe and bye.